So, hey, I am here today because we're getting lots of questions about Tiger Connections and CCR. We've had some practices in the past, and as you can tell, we are refining those and readjusting quite a bit this year after we've returned from being gone uh, due to COVID and all of our different schedules that we've had. So just a quick, uh, I want to try to give you a quick update on all of this so that everybody's on the same page. Um, the staff have been working on this uh, for quite some time now, and and we all have the same expectations for all our students, 9th through 12th grade. Some things that you're going to notice, Tiger Connections, it is something that you're going to meet four times a week and you have 50 minutes. Um, it's a good time for you to be in the classroom because you are expected to be there. It's a good time to run through your day, organize your thoughts, any homework that you have to do, you can do that. Um, just do whatever you need to do to get ready for the next day. Um, make sure that it's also a time that you can complete any assigned work or readings that you had from that day. It's a time to seek help and support from your Tiger Connections teacher or another teacher. The key is though, you do need to have a pass. Uh, you're required to have a pass from that teacher if you're gonna go see them. So everybody asks, well, what really is Tiger Connections? And what we want you to know is it is a time where number one, you are creating this family that you're working with. It's all of the students that are in your Tiger Connections class, as well as your teacher. And we love it when we hear the teachers call you guys a family. You guys are getting to know each other and it's the one teacher that you'll have for four years. Um, it is a time when we are asking teachers to check in with every student once a week. So please expect them to check in with you at least once a week, if not more. It's a time where they're going to run through your attendance and your academics to see if you have any missing assignments, quizzes, or tests. They're going to assist you with any support that you might need in catching up on that late work. They're also going to help you. They're there to help you set goals if you have larger, uh, larger projects or assignments. Um, they can help you connect, or I'm sorry, they can connect with each of you as your advocate based on your individual needs at school, or maybe you wanna talk about athletics or clubs that you'd like to get involved with, or maybe just something that you need to talk with someone about. But they are there, they have your back. Now these are just a few things that happen during Tiger Connections. They have a lot more things that they'd like to do with you this year. Couple things to think about. Tiger Connections is required for all students to attend and attendance is taken at the beginning of class. Now we will have a flex schedule. So those of you that remember um, academic advisory from way back in the day, a couple years ago, and we had a flex schedule, we will start the flex schedule. But it isn't until a certain time period each trimester for each grade level. So seniors, you are required to attend Tiger Connections for four weeks. After that, you will be able to flex. That starts Monday, September 27th. Juniors, you're five weeks and you will start Monday, October 4th flexing. Sophomores start Monday, October 11th, and freshmen begin Monday, October 18th. The reasoning behind this is that we discussed that it does allow each of the grade levels either one to two progress reports, because progress reports are posted on the third, sixth, ninth, and then grades 12th week of each trimester. So this gives an opportune time for your teachers to check in on your grades and sit down with you that following week to see where you're at. If you have missing assignments or your attendance hasn't been up to par, they do have the ability to tell you that you cannot flex out until that work is done. Also a reminder that only seniors have open campus and may leave campus once flexed out. Seniors, please make sure that you're using only door 29. All other doors are considered fire exits throughout the building. When the flex time begins for your grade level, you must sign in to work areas that you're going to go work, whether it be the Commons, Chamber of Silence, we've got the Tiger Lounge Media Center, got the area outside of the Media Center, as well as we can have a few students working at the bottom of the main staircase. But remember, you must be signed in, so use the QR code that is posted in that area so that we know that you're supposed to be there. We're only allowing a certain amount of students in each area, so once it's full, you're going to have to find another location to work. We want you to know that we're receiving a lot of calls from parents asking for passes to leave about 2 o'clock. Now, please know that if you're wanting to leave for work, that's not permitted. Employers know 
you have to be in school from 810 to 255 each day. So please work with your employer so that you can arrive somewhere around 4 o'clock for work. We're also getting a lot of calls from parents that are just saying we'd like to excuse them from Tiger Connections because, well, they're not really doing that much. Well, we want you to know it was the first week of school, and that's a time for you to make connections with your teachers, start building those long, strong, lasting relationships. As your classes get a little bit more difficult each day, you're going to find yourself you ha having homework, and you're going to have plenty to do during that time. But some things that you might want to do, here's some, just some suggestions, because there's always something that you can do. Review notes from a class. Reread a reading assignment in class and think deeper about that content. Maybe review an assignment completed and do the next day for any errors you might have done in your work. Study for an upcoming exam or quiz. That's always good to do so you don't have to cram the night before. You can organize your backpack, your agenda, your calendar. Review Infinite Campus for any missing assignments or look over your attendance. You might find, because we're all human and we make errors, but you might find that you got marked absent from a class by accident. You could also even help a friend in class with their work. Be an advocate for others and support their learning. You may even find that you have time to ask your teacher, your TC teacher, if they have anything they need help with. Be a servant and volunteer to help others. These are all great skills to practice to be successful in whatever you desire in the future. I have two boys that attended Farmington High School, and I always told them, when you tell me we did nothing in school, I told them I'd be happy to call their teacher to find out more. Needless to say, they stopped telling me we did nothing in school. So you also are going to be attending college and career readiness, which will be held. This is our new ramp. We don't have ramp anymore. Those of you that were here the past couple years, you remember that. College and career readiness is required for all students, and it will be held every two weeks, the first and third Tuesday of each month. There may be changes, so please be flexible. Your CCR teachers can flex the lesson to another day, dependent on their agenda and schedule. You'll need to be watching for postings on Schoology from your CCR teacher. We want you to know CCR is very important, and the reason is it's important is because it helps you with your future and any of your post-secondary decisions. It also helps you in everything from preparing for and taking the ACT or another uh, post-secondary exam, social-emotional skills that help support your skills needed in the workplace, we're going to hold a lot of discussions about post-secondary options, such as military, maybe you're career-bound, maybe a technical trade school, a two-year college, or a four-year college. And also, our counselors share opportunities throughout the year to learn about specific careers. So watch for this information to come out. This is just a little bit about what CCR is about. There's a lot more, and we know that you're going to be excited this year to attend. Again, reminder that CCR is required, and we encourage everyone to attend with an open mind, gleaning information that hopefully will assist you one day in the future. If not today, our hope is that you will remember the discussions and have a good understanding of who to seek out for help and additional resources. So to recap, TC, CCR, required for everyone. You must attend the entire time until the flex schedule begins. Once it begins, you must attend the first 10 minutes for a check-in. Teachers will let you know if you can flex out. Only students given permission by their TC teacher and only after attendance and grades are checked may you flex out. And reminder, only seniors have open campus and may leave through door 29 when flexing out of TC. Just a reminder, we want all students to use door 29 when you're leaving the building, whether you have an appointment, um, min caps, P PSEO, work-based learning, please do not use any other doors because they are fire exits only. Also, like I mentioned, please make sure you're checking campus frequently for your attendance. We are human. We make mistakes. If marked absent, talk to your teacher. They can inform us in the second floor office if it's beyond the end of the school day and we can make the change. Also, we would ask that all students, as a reminder, turn on your notifications in Schoology. We post important information and reminders for everyone. 
This is also a good thing to add to your list for TC time. Go back to Schoology and check all of the news that we've posted throughout the day, calendar updates, or anything else that might be pertinent to you. And last reminder that every staff member at FHS is here to help you be successful. When needing support, we are here to offer suggestions, but you make decisions. Now go seize the day and school year. You guys, you got this.